with Willamette Valley Cute Bunny. And today I'm gonna to do something different. I'm gonna show you guys one of my absolute favorite dessert recipes and we call it Grace's Cobbler. And it's the most simple um, peach cobbler you can make. It's so easy and it's probably like it's to die for. It's like straight up, I think, crack. Um, but I got everything, like pretty much everything I have, I got with coupons, um, other than maybe like the eggs and salt and bake, baking powder. Um, I'm gonna do individual ones that I'm gonna put in the freezer. They're perfect for um, two people. And you just pop them out of the freezer, pop them in the oven, and have like an instant dessert within an hour. So yeah, let's just get onto it. So for this recipe, um, you usually do it, for my family, I have to double it and I put it in a, like a nine by 13, but the recipe actually fits perfectly in this eight by 13 dish. Um, so if you're wanting to eat this right away, use a eight by 13, serves about nine for small portions, but I'm telling you, you're not gonna eat small portions because it's that good. Um, so with my family, we usually double the recipe and put it in a nine by 13. So it's up to you and depends on how much, how thick you want your crust. Um, but first off, let's preheat the oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to bake one to show you what it looks like and then I'm actually gonna freeze my other ones. So oven is preheat. Heated. Next, you need to have a can of peaches. This is 29 ounces. You can get this at Walmart and it's about a dollar eighty-five or something like that. So you're gonna open up the can. And then drain the peaches. So I have my colander here. And I'm gonna just walk over to my sink and drain the juice out of the peaches. Okay, as the peaches are draining, I'm going to mix my dry ingredients. So what it calls for is one cup flour, one cup sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. So now I'm going to mix up that dry ingredients. And I'm using a fork because next we're gonna cut an egg into it. Next, one egg. And we're gonna cut the egg into it. And so how you do that is you take a fork and you just kind of start, kind of not like so much as mixing, but using the ends of the fork kind of pushing down and pushing the egg around all over and it, we kind of want it to be a little clumpy. Okay so how you see it's um, clumpy, the egg is broken into it, i just cut that in. So the next step would be to take your peaches and line the bottom of your pan. So like I said, I'm doing individual ones, or you could do in your glass pan. So you just wanna take the peaches and line the bottoms. And since I'm doing individual ones, I'm gonna actually cut these peaches in half, just because this is a smaller pan. Yeah. 
So now that I have the peaches um, completely covering the bottom, if you could see if there's like a still a lot of liquid, use like a paper towel and dab it up because you don't want too much liquid in this cobbler. Then the next step is, and it's a um, optional, my mother doesn't really like that much cinnamon, so we usually don't put too much in, but today I'm gonna to use cinnamon sugar and just kind of lightly dust it over the peaches. And if you're someone that likes cinnamon, you could totally put more, it's just a few sprinkles. Next, take your dry mixture with the egg cut in and kind of just sprinkle it over the top of your peaches. And then just a nice even coating um, where all the peaches are covered. And now this next step is what makes this cobbler the best. Take a stick of butter and just cut it into chunks So you take your chunked uh, sliced butter and you just kind of place it throughout the peach cobbler. And you're gonna use a whole stick of it. But for these individually ones, I'm only gonna use a few. And then you take this and you put it in the oven and bake for about 50 minutes, um, depending on the size and when just when the top of the cobbler is golden brown. Now I'm going to just repeat the steps with the remaining tins. So with this recipe, I was able to make three individual servings, which actually um, could probably serve, you know, two people, three at max. Um, I'm going to kind of put these in the freezer and let the butter get hard. And then I'm going to press and seal the tops and then cover them with the tops. But I'm gonna just put them in the freezer for a couple minutes and just let that uh, butter get a little hard. So I left these uh, cobblers in the freezer for probably like five minutes, um, just so I could get the butter um, a little bit harder. And I'm gonna place press and seal onto the tops. Then I'm gonna take the cover that it came with and place that over that and fold the edges down. And then repeat and do it that way. Now I'm just gonna write on the top of these what it is, what to bake it at, and the date. So now that I got these pre-made, um, sealed up and marked, to the freezer they go, and they will probably be good in there for about three months. My baked cobbler came out of the oven and I let it cool. And now I'm gonna take some press and seal and just kinda cover the top. Just give it a little extra protection. Now I'm gonna take the cover that I wrote um, what it is, a cooked peach cobbler and to defrost it and bake it at. All right, I got my third peach cobbler baked, ready to go in the freezer. Good for about three months in there. Now the one I made for my family had baked, came out, just pulled it out. Has this really beautiful golden crust to it. Um, super good. I'm going to let this chill a little bit and then I'll dish some up and show you what it looks like. So you could serve this um, warm or cold, whatever you prefer. Slice there. 
You can serve it all in mode. A nice scoop of ice cream or with some whipped cream. Got some peaches, a nice buttery crust. Oh, it's so good. You could do this with pretty much any fruit. Um, my favorite is peaches. You could do it with blackberries, marionberries. Um, just be careful of how juicy and liquidy the fruit is. Make sure that um, when you lay the fruit down on the bottom of the pan, if there's still a lot of liquid, just kind of dab it up with a super good. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things like this. Normally I do I bought a couponing things, but today I did this peach cobbler with items that I bought um, couponing. And I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with a chicken pot pie recipe, which is a family favorite.